Welcome to Health Educare. Don't forget always to click on the subscribe button. Today is going to be about hypertrichosis. It is also known as a werewolf syndrome. It is a condition characterized by excess hair growth anywhere on a person's body. It can affect both men and women, it is extremely rare. Hypertrichosis can develop all over the body or can be isolated to small patches. Types of hypertrichosis 1. Congenital hypertrichosis lanuginosa, it first appear in normal languo, the condition is characterized by excessive hair growth on a child at birth. The languo hair continues to grow and this excessive long hair persists throughout life. 2. Congenital hypertrichosis terminalis, it is a variation of congenital hypertrichosis. This condition involves all over the body hair growth, but the condition is fully pigmented terminal hair. 3. Navoid hypertrichosis, it can occur at birth or appear later in life. Excessive hair growth of any kind appears in a defined area. In few cases, more than one patch of hair is different. For hirsutism, this form of hypertrichosis is limited to women. Excessive hair growth in places where women don't normally have hair, such as face, chest, and back. 5. Acquired hypertrichosis, the hair is usually unpigmented vellus hair or may involve pigmented terminal hair. Excess hair growth may be localized to a particular area or generalized and covering all hair-bearing areas of the body. What causes hypertrichosis? The causes is unknown. Congenital hypertrichosis is believed to be a genetic disorder that is inherited or occur as a result of spontaneous mutation. Acquired hypertrichosis lanuginosus sometimes occurs in people who later at a stage are diagnosed with a cancer of some form. Drugs can also cause hypertrichosis. Antibiotics such as streptomycin, anti-inflammatories such as benoxaprofen and corticosteroids, vasodilators like diazoxide, diuretics like acetazolamide, anticonvulsant like phenytoin. How can we treat hypertrichosis? This treatment involves the removal of hair through variety of short-term methods, they include, shaving, chemical epilation, waxing, plucking, hair bleaching. All these methods are temporary solutions. They also run a risk of causing painful or uncomfortable skin irritation. It might not be easy for you to try this method on some part of your body. Long-term treatment include electrolysis and laser surgery. Electrolysis is the destruction of the hair follicles with small electric charges. Laser surgery involves the application of special laser light over several hairs at one time. Hair loss can often be permanent with these treatments, though you may need few sessions to complete this job. So if you have any question, leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, to get more video from Health Educare.